What's up, everyone? Welcome back for a brand new edition of Collider Forces, an edition of the show that I'm very excited about because I have a guest who is the star of one of my favorite movies of 2022 and a movie that we are now talking about in 2023 for very good reasons. Amber Mid Thunder, hello. Welcome to Collider Forces. Thank you. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm so excited to this be here. This movie was in my top. Did I even say Prey? Did I say Prey? Prey no. was in my top 10 of 2022. <laughs> I just they assume, know what it is. I just assume everybody knows exactly what's going on <laughs> in my head right now. So we've had a nice opportunity to chat a little off camera, but the only thing I did not tell you about is is this. I know, I don't know what that is. This is the Collider Forces Dice Tower. Okay. Soon, soon it will officially be Collider Forces. We are working on that. Okay. I have eight random questions. You get three rolls on the tower, and whatever you roll, that's where we start at least. Ooh. So Okay. It's like someone hit in there. Get the pretty <gasps> Spider-Man die. Oh my gosh. I was complimenting this earlier. A is lot this of also a custom die? No, but I, I spent a considerable amount of time looking for the perfect one. Yeah, people have so much fancy, like, die shakes. People, okay. <laughs> you need to roll the dice oh. tower. <laughs> I thought it was like a board game. Admittedly, okay, I didn't really know much about dice towers until I bought this. I've never right. used a dice tower. You've got a seven. Well, now, now, now you I have. And you have a nice, a nice easy question to an interview. I'm calling this one Spider, okay. and it's on the list because I feel like this says a lot about a person. You are home alone. You see a big old spider dead. somewhere. What do you do? What do dead. you do? Like you, you, de you dead it. Um, you kill yeah, it. Yeah, I dead it immediately. <laughs> I die a little bit inside. How big? I'm not a spider person. <laughs> okay. I don't like spiders. Dead, done, atomic gun, boom, bang. <laughs> House gone, fine, as long as the spider it's is It's like if there's a bug in there, you yeah. just burn the no, whole I'm thing not, in not the No, I'm not ground. about a spider. I'm not about it. That was like, I went to Australia, and oh. that was like my biggest thing How about are you there. okay? I was terrified the whole time. <laughs> I was like, is it gonna... Because you know, you see like on the internet, the like videos of like a giant spider was hiding in the toilet and stuff like that, that I feel like... <laughs> That's like so nightmare, I've seen thing. so many of those I've on seen TikTok. so many of those are like, there's like scary ones, you know? And so... Not about it. I don't do spiders. Um, I don't like them. I get really scared. And then, but the goal is like, am I more scared of just seeing it in the moment and walking toward it? Or am I more scared of letting it live inside of my house? Yeah. I'm more scared of letting it live inside my house. So I am the type of person who likes to scoop it up and take it oh, out to nice safety. But if that goes, no. if that plan goes wrong and no. then I can't get it, I do lay awake at night thinking about where no, that where, spider might be. Because then you're fighting. Because then it's exactly. mad at you. And then it's coming for you. You're bigger than it knows where you're sleeping. I just you know? hope it understands that I was trying to help it. Yeah, no, <laughs> the only thing. not me right away. Battle. <laughs> okay. There's a war. All right, you have your third roll in the okay. tower. <laughs> oh my gosh, we should just roll all the questions. Okay. I mean, I can find excuses to bring them all back. I really want to get a four. <laughs> four. I like four. Get a four. What is it? You got a five, but I'll give <gasps> you four after. Um, Five, actually, I really like. This is okay. an acting process question. Oh. I call it favorite, least favorite. If you could pick your favorite part of the acting process, putting mm -hmm. a costume on for the first time, mm -hmm. seeing the set, rehearsing, what would it be? But then I also want not necessarily your least favorite, but yeah. you know, a part of the process where you see room to grow for yourself and try oh, something new. I like that question. It's just easy to call it favorite, least That's favorite. That's cool. <laughs> um, I think favorite is just the being in the scene. Like that, I think it's like kind of, it just feels magical, you know? It's like, uh, there's, in, I mean, not always, the, and it feels different for different things, but ultimately it's just like that feeling of when you're like, you forget everything else and you're just so like, you know, you're just so present and you're just so focused on some, you know, it's an amazing thing that I get to do to be like, oh, and then now the only thing that's important to me in the world is that I have to, you know, get away from a predator. <laughs> is like you know or or talk to this person or whatever like I, that to me is like the infectious thing about what i do that's why i do it um and where i could grow um is i think in the patients <laughs> there's a lot of different types of patients that are required um and i think you know this is we're listen we're all human um i think that that's a space where i could grow it's just like you know if it's like on the day and things are taking a long time i think i just get like oh i just want to i just want to go um or sometimes you know we were just talking about this like predator took like we were basically there for like six months and it's like that can be you know 
to be away from your home and away from your family and away from did it for all that time. It's like that can, but obviously that's a choice that I made about being here. So um, I think just that being like accepting and, and patient with that part of the process. It's like the, you know, the peel back the curtain process yeah. part of making a film is yeah. that many do not realize that, you know, it is not all doing exactly what you see on screen. Mm -hmm. See what you see on screen takes a significant amount of setup yeah. time where, you know, depending on your department, you're just sitting there waiting. Yeah. It was crazy for me to be like, I think, but it's just like, it's so cool to me to also like be doing that where it's like, yeah, people, because that's the other thing. You just don't know. You don't mm -hmm. know if people are going to talk about it. You don't know if people are going to be interested in it. And so it's like, we invested so much care. And so it's nice that people, you know, I think felt that and are interested in that. We're going to get into some of those details, Ooh. some of the care that went into it. But first, do you want question number four? Yes. <laughs> All right. Never done this before, but I am okay. just going to randomly give you the dice question uh, you want. This is zombie apocalypse. There is a zombie outbreak. Okay. You can pick two past co-stars to team up with. Oh my God, this Who is a great Who do you question. choose that'll give you the best chance of surviving? Of of my co-stars, not yes. their characters. No, not the character. My co-stars. Okay. Um, oh, I'm like, who has good skills for survival? I mean, I've never worked with my parents, but honestly, I really trust my parents in an apocalypse. Um, <laughs> I'm the exact I opposite. Really <laughs> I think they would. I think my parents would try to help, but yeah. my dad would be the kind of person who just accidentally drives us in the direction where like the ground is going to cave oh, in no. or something. <laughs> and my mom would just give up. She would just so up. she would just be like, "Take me." She'd there. just be like, "I'm not going to do oh, anything." That's so <laughs> no, I feel like I trust my. I think my parent, my parents would fight it out. I think they would survive. Um, okay, but I haven't really worked with them. So who? Okay. Um, Da, 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 da. I'm like, what have I done? Um, okay, I would work. Oh, Liam Neeson, obviously. Good choice. Duh. Good how choice. could I have forgotten about him? Um, Liam Neeson, just because you know, I feel like even zombies respect that. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta walk away. Um, and then I think maybe. Oh, Seti, the dog. You couldn't have chosen a better pairing there. I take it very seriously. I took that question very seriously. I wish there was an Emmy category for best <laughs> on screen, like movie, like dog, dog, animal, anything, because yeah. we would she have would an sweep. instant winner. She would sweep. So it's good. true. It's funny because, you know, she just is like, I think Dan said it, and it's true. Probably every usable frame of hers in that movie, which is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, but you know, she ended up, she's great. She's in a, you know, her process wild, but the it product works. is incredible. It works. All right. We have hit the main part of the interview here. We okay. like to go back to the very, very beginning. What is the, the movie you saw personal experience you had, you name it, that first made you say to yourself, I have to be an actor and nothing else. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, there was not a specific one moment, but I was just telling you about this. I remember being little and I saw Narnia. Uh, the Chronicles of Narnia and I was walking out of the theater and just like I think it is the first time that I remember consciously really feeling like the like the movie was still like around me you know like I walked out of the theater and I was like <gasps> like I just remember thinking like everybody knows about the you know like everybody knows the rules of this world and the thing in the you know that like the guy, the half man half animal thing is gonna walk in here and just that kind of thing like it just felt so real um and I think I just loved, you know, I was too young to understand how to like accomplish that as an adult, but I just, I felt it and I loved that feeling uh, is where I remember that happening to me for the first time. And then I think as I got older, I was like, oh, filmmaking is cool. <laughs> it's a, a beautiful answer. Yeah. So you decide you want to be an actor at yeah. the time. What did you think was step one to building a career as an actor? And now looking back, would you recommend that as a first step to someone else? Or did you oh find gosh. something more effective along the way? Great questions. Um, well, my parents work in the film industry and they, but it's like, it was just not even a thing. You know, it was not even a conversation with us in our family of like, this is what we do and you could do it too. Or, you know, like I think they were very intentional about specifically not talking about it with me. Uh, I mean, I grew up around it. Like I would go to my mom's casting office after school and like, you know, I would be doing my homework, but really I would be like watching the actors. And I just thought that it was so interesting. And like, you know, I didn't again, like totally get 
like I didn't think about like, oh, this is what they do puts my dad where my dad goes to work. And then my what my dad does is what gives me like, you know, Lizzie McGuire. Like I did not connect those dots. Um, but I did think that it was just like fascinating to like watch people, you know, come into like a very mundane room and then bring with them this like the whole story and all this magic. And and then when they would leave, it would leave. Like I thought that was amazing. Um, I have not answered your question what at all. What a way to describe <laughs> that process though. It was very cool. So, I mean, I think that I felt like the process was to get representation. Um, and that was the process. So I would say yes. Okay. I think that, oh, my, what I was saying is that my family and I talk about like, that there is like portals almost. That it's like the way that people get into, I think, whatever they do, especially like in sto the storytelling world, it's usually so random and so crazy chaotic that it's almost like a portal that only works once like it's like you the way it happens for you is the way it happens for you and then it closes behind so you. like true. it opens for you and it closes for you and that's it so i can't say like have parents that are in the film industry that don't talk to you about it at all and then you know homeschool for the last three years of high school move to la when you're 17 get a manager and then hope it works out because that's what i did and definitely that did work and i think the steps of like okay working really hard and being dedicated and looking for rep good representation i do think those are good steps um but you know at the same time i think it's really just tenacity i think it's really just like having good discernment and recognizing like who are the good people around you? Who are the real people around you? And, you know, just being really driven about it and just being like, okay, because it's hard. That's why I like to bring questions like that back for all forces mm -hmm. interviews because everyone has a different experience. Yeah. Every path is different and, and every single path is okay because yeah. it works for you. Yeah. I it's mean, even your story that you were telling me of like Crazy. coming from film school yes. and producing <laughs> and being like, I don't want to produce. I want to do that. Like, <laughs> you know, there's not nobody's going to have that exact path again. Mm -hmm. But it did work. <laughs> yeah. And and like hopefully sharing multiple paths inspires someone to think that like their path, even though it may be different, exactly. is still right. It is. And I think that's the important part of it is like it is chaotic. And that's that is how it's supposed to be. I think that's the only consistent quality mm -hmm. is that like it's not going to be exactly the same for everybody. But it is, I think, chaotic for most people. <laughs> this is the chaotic And that industry. is how, you know, and that's how it is. So that's how you get here. I wanted to go.